acting an oversight that would have prevented uh, those things from happening. And that is another big problem with the way our patronage politics works, because uh, what used to happen is that every uh, year before we pass the budget, we'll be called to State House, and, and I'm talking about both members of Jubilee and NASA, led by ODM chair John Buddy. And we'll be given goodies for our constituencies, and we'll be told shut up and go and pass everything the way it is. Until, you know, some two, three years back when I said, I think this conscience, my conscience was not at peace. And I thought it was important to let Kenyans know that if you're expecting Parliament, Budget Committee, Kalini Kega, uh, Gladys Wanga, to be the check bit for, for the executive, you know, that, that is not going to happen because of the way our politics are wired. What, what proof, you know, a, be, beyond your testimony, our, what proof would Kenyans have? Because the last time you made those comments, a lot of your colleagues said that you are lying, uh, you know, where oh, have you been my all this friend, now time? Ask, uh, ask and, them today. Mm -hmm. Today, I think they are healed. Most of them are also healed. In fact, those who are saying I was, I, was, I was lying that time, today they agree with me vociferously, and they know that we've not been providing. Can I tell you, in a budget of uh, somewhere in the region of V trillion, we only change parliament thinkers with only maximum two billion. The, one, so the rest, we assume that all wisdom belongs to, to treasury building, and, and that everything coming from treasury is sacrosanct and need not be checked. But because of time, uh, Wahiga, I won't say three things. Yes, and this the will be your, your parting shot. This will be your parting yes, shot. Go ahead. I have a problem with the, with the current government, or even with the president, on three counts. One, during the first term, because he really wanted to be re-elected, and you know, we should be honest about that, he allowed so many bad things to happen, but he would not say anything, because which he knew were going wrong. But he, he badly wanted the election, he wanted to be supported. That is where our debt, you know, you know, you know, you know, hit the ceiling. We, that's when we had, you know, funny projects, you know, happening. It's not that the president woke up one day and said, oh my God, I realize things are going wrong. And, he but, knew but, from but, the beginning. But, and I hope as you say, speak that even you as a member of parliament take partial responsibility for that. A jubilee member of parliament to be specific. Three, three years, three years now. I've taken responsibility over here. I'm expecting others to say me a culpa, like I've said three years from <laughs> ago. The, the second crime is that uh, uh, now we now fast forward to the second term, and now the president now waits another another whole term fighting his deputy, making his deputy being an issue. And you know, I think also I think the, the, they have come from far. And I think deep inside Uhuru Kenyatta's heart, he wanted William Ruto to be president all along. That's why he fought him so that he can be able to send sympathy his way. But, you know, that is their business. My and problem is preoccupation with fighting one man for a whole five years. We have lost a lot of opportunities. The opportunity cost is so huge. Okay, okay, that, okay you know, I told you briefly and, and, your final point. And finally, mm -hmm. my final point, mm -hmm. and which is his dad crime, is that now, when we would think that he has learned a lesson from the first time of allowing bad things to happen, which not have happened, when we, we, we thought he has learned that, you know, five, making one man to be the subject of the whole country for five years is, is an exercise in futility. Now, when you would think now he has learned that and he's focusing on ensuring that you have a peaceful transition, that we have got an IBC. By the way, the part I'm affiliated to, Chama Chakazi, has related to Afula Chebukati, asking for weekly meetings to audit the preparedness towards next year. Okay. Because I, we were waiting for this to see that the president is concerned that yes. there's going to be a free and fair election, that, you know, Matiangi can be trusted to midwife, you know, a security apparatus that's going to deliver a free and yes, fair election. Moses, uh, He's finally... still committed. If you are in a hole, stop digging, Mr. President. Focus on ensuring that we have a peaceful transition. That is what future generations will judge you with. Thank you, Moses Kuria. And uh, Kabando Kabando, I have about a minute. We, we've gone far beyond our time. What's your last uh, uh, word on this? I want and, to say and, I, and I must say, viewers, viewers are, some viewers are saying they hope to see you in yeah. parliament uh, after next year. I don't know if that's still your ambition. Maybe give tie that into your parting shot. Uh, before I come... Well, here I'll take less than a minute uh, or a minute and a half. Mm -hmm. Five things need to be implemented without explaining them, just mentioning. Mm -hmm. Number one, Jubilee Party should publish audited account to show how they have used the millions of subscriptions paid by members, including members of parliamentary governance, since 2013. Number two, Jubilee Party should publish the project were implemented through the hundreds of billions that were obtained through Eurobot. 
We should, as a way of moving forward, publish and implement the Truth, Justice and Reconciliation Commission a report, TJRC. We should implement the Domo report on land in Kenya. And we should implement the Crow report that was commissioned to be done in the early years of the Quebec administration okay. through Crow Associates of United Kingdom mm -hmm. that showed the looting of Kenya under Daniel Aramoy. Uhuru 3 136 days to go, like Kuri has said, ensure a peaceful transition because you must finish and go, and Kenya must go on to prosperity and okay. peace. Your, Marisa Wende. Your final word, uh, I, I, Kenya, some have asked, uh, are, you, are you going to be in parliament, which party? Okay, well, you don't know, but is that your ambition? Well, here because I'm inherently a political animal and I don't apologize for being a pure politician, uh, come Tuesday 9th of August 2022, I'll be on the ballot for one of the seats in Nyeri, either as a member of parliament for Mokroini again or a member of the Nyeri county senator, but the first uh, offer appears to be more preferable to me because there's a job that we did not finish in Mokroine, and I think the choice that was made by Jubilee Party okay. was not okay. on popular mandate Ohiga, and Ohiga, did not deserve, Ohiga, and we're, therefore we're, 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 Okay. Ohiga, irrespective, Ohiga, irrespective of which position Kabando or Kabando wants to go, Chama Chakazi is waiting for him and we will endorse him, just like the deputy president endorsed other candidates. <laughs> okay, thank, thank you, gentlemen. Uh, we are going Ohiga to... For, Ohiga, can we say thank you very much? Wahiga, we should say thank you very much to Royal Media Services, specifically News Night of Citizen TV for hosting us with the Moses Courier tonight. We wish you well, the management and all the personnel and the owners of the Royal Media Services. Asante ni sana, neema za mungu, ambariki, na mnawiri, na mboreshe biashara. I think Kabando Akabando has wrapped up this show. Let's get out of here. Moses Courier live from Santa Barbara, California. Thank you for your time this evening. Kabando Akabando in Nairobi with a message to the management of this organization. Thank you to both of you gentlemen for your time and your thoughts.